Good morning, folks. If you missed the evening news or aren't on the website, we have yet another comet incoming on that same trajectory. Appears to be another Kreutz. Incoming today, so keep watch. Speaking of comets, we'll kick it to Ison. Now, as I was processing the good news about the lack of fracture in Ison yesterday, appears the CIOC was doing the exact same thing. Carl and I literally published these opinions moments apart. And if you check the spaceweather.com Ison gallery, I bet your own eyes will agree with us. Terrific article linked here about a rogue planet they found only 80 light years away. Remember, there are as many of these rogue planets as there are stars in the galaxy, if not more. This one's six times the size of Jupiter, and the article is linked for you below, along with two from last night. Now, I've mentioned that our climate extremes means that the 80 degrees and tornadoes leading the low-pressure cell followed by crazy cold on the backside was going to get more extreme as it was becoming the new normal, and as if that tornado outbreak wasn't bad enough last week, the backside that was setting snow records out west also caught the farmers off guard. Cattle losses are well over 75,000 head. This also happened to farmers in Uruguay a while ago, with 30,000 dead being underscored as falsely low due to hundreds and perhaps thousands of poorer farmers unable to report or claim their losses. There are three tropical concerns flanking the Americas at this point still have reason to pay attention to all three. The Atlantic developer needs the most energy with only a 30% likelihood of being named. Meanwhile, our developers out west are a bit more certain of their fate. Top localized watches in Europe, where they're tasting the snow now as well in parts of the north. For most of you, it's just a bit cooler, but the Mediterranean is taking advantage of that mixing air for lightning. We're seeing volcanic upticks at the Kamchatka Peninsula, and steam emissions and intermittent seismicity near the White Island volcano in New Zealand. Solar flaring still not matching its biggest outburst from yesterday morning. The sunspots, though, look to be conspiring. The development seen here is belied by the lack of flaring, and not just with umbral size, but magnetic mixing as well. Furthest out still is definitively Beta Gamma Delta and potentially a reverse spot, although perhaps tied to its smaller lead about 8 degrees to the west. North of that, we see magnetics divided, but nearly harmonizing on the leading edge for more. I think that's the guy to watch up top, and actually, later you'll see his lightning. We will, of course, have to watch for more eruptions as the newest sun-diving comet heads in as well. The solar wind speed in yellow has been calming. Same with the geomagnetic storms. Remember, more coronal hole streams are on the way. And speaking of coronal holes, yesterday, the power heading into face Earth was substantial. The green opening here as the center of that huge magnetic field bulges out to the left. Well, since yesterday morning, power has been cut almost in half. And take a look at how this huge bulge shrinks along with that green opening down to almost nothing. We had no significant quakes with that power disappearing. Keep watch for a repower up today as they are directly facing Earth. More teasers from our lab. Now, when I told Billy to make some arcs in a vacuum chamber, I didn't think he'd get so creative. Here we see the magnets in the chamber, and he's applying the power of a handheld taser. Beautiful, but not quite to his liking, so he took apart a microwave and tried that. Genius. He may want to spread those conductors a bit more, yes? For those who were asking, no, he didn't break into a nuclear facility to get the uranium for our cosmic ray detector chamber. They do require some info, but anyone can get some of this stuff and test it themselves. More of this will be coming on the website, but right now we got SDO and some cool new iris shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.